I'm Iris Carroll, one of your MJC librarians, and today I'm going to show you how to use EBSCOhost databases to find an article when you already have the author and the title of the article. We're going to start on the library's homepage as usual and scroll down to the Articles and Databases box. Click on that and it takes you to our Articles and Databases page, where you'll find EBSCOhost databases up at the top under Start Your Research Here. Now, if you're away from campus, you'll be asked to enter your MJC ID number without the W and your six-digit birth date. Because I'm away from campus right now, I need to do the same thing. Once I submit it, the database realizes that I am affiliated with MJC and I can get into the full database. Now, because I already have the title of the article and the author, I'm not just going to enter my search words here. I'm going to go to the advanced search. In the advanced search, I can fill out a form, tell the form uh, in which area to search for the words that I put in, and it'll find the article for me. So I want to start with the author. I've got the author's last name. And I'm going to put that in right there. It's hyphenated, so let's put in the hyphen. Next, I'm going to put in a few words from the title. I think that's enough. And then I need to go to the drop-down box here, and I need to tell it, look for those words in the title. So I'm saying, look for these words in the author area and look for these words in the title area. And then I'm just going to press search. And there, that is the article that my teacher gave me the author and title for. See, that was easy. Next, I want to show you how you can actually see the article. So when you want to see an article, you're going to click where it says PDF full text. And what that gives you is a picture image of the article exactly as it appeared in the journal or magazine in which it was published. So here we have our article. On the right hand side, we have our tools we can use to work with the article. And that's it. That's all there is to it. If you ever have any questions, please be sure to go to the MJC Library and Learning Center website and click on Ask a Librarian.